Welcome back adventurers to Astian's Let's Play of Grandia on Eltari's YouTube channel where we last left off. We actually got a bit of exposition on the ancient Angelo civilization and some information about Mullen. So apparently Mullen's mother was a humanoid, which makes him half humanoid, which explains why he was able to communicate with Rem back in the Garlisle base without having eaten a nut, because obviously Rem would not have given him one of those nuts to allow him to understand what he was saying. We also discovered that the reason for the fall of the Angelo civilization was because of the use of the spirit stone by humans. Uh, we haven't been told specifically what happened, but according to the mural there was an ominous object that was shooting lightning down on an Ikari woman, woman that was bent over in pain that was also kind of being shielded by the spirit. So. I guess we will find out a bit more about that as we go, but it uh, looks like we're now in one of those rooms that Liete usually is in, so let's continue the story. We're at the top of the Twin Towers. This is the room where we were ejected by the Magic Circle. I better start my timer, there we go. Hey, what's this? What is this indeed? Justin, what's that light coming from? This is a gizmo from the Angelonian civilization. You can use it to talk to Ikarians. Oh, Justin! Welcome, he who holds the Spirit Stone. He who is guided by the light of the Spirit Stone and the wings of the Ikarians. It's me, Liette. Me, Justin. I've made it this far. Yes, I can feel you very clearly. You have come very close. From where you are, a lent is practically right before your eyes. Liette, show yourself. Tell me where a lent is. Go east, Justin. You, the one who searches for answers. Liette! So we're always told, go east. When is it ever going to end? There's another ocean that stands between us and the east. Oh, Medal of Wisdom. Liette, what's with this medal? That is the key to a lent. It will show you the way there. To a lent, she said. Wait, that's not right. What about the Ikarians? Cross the inland sea and head to the east, Justin. I must wait until we meet again. Then I will tell you everything I know about the Angelonians. All right, we're going to be in a lent soon. The Angelo mystery will be solved at last. Liete said we have to cross the inland sea and head to the east. Come on, now's no time to be slow. Hey, we can use the magic circle to get sent from this tower. We can leave this place fast, Lean. Leave? You call that leaving, Justin? Do you even know how to use a magic circle? Nope, but I'm sure if I try some stuff, something will happen. It doesn't look too difficult. Incredible. <laughs> I guess that's just the way you are, eh, Justin? Here, I happen to know how the magic circle works, Justin. Stand back. Really? That's impressive, Lean. Colonel Mulan taught me. Humanoid. Maybe maybe the humanoids inherited the language of the Angelonians. But then oh okay. We can understand. Oh, uh, we can understand Gadlin and all the other humanoids on the side of the wall because we ate that nut. This is where we say goodbye, Justin. Ho, oh, that's right. You only promised to help me escape. Still, couldn't you... Justin, I want to avoid getting any closer than this to the Angelonians. What? But why, Lean? It's been my dream to find them. Yes, that's right. You're an adventurer, after all. Why should I even try to say such things? Well, at least, just stay away from the Garlisle forces, okay? 
and she's gonna give him a kiss. Give me your hand, Justin. Huh? But but why? Just do it quickly. The spirit stone. Lean. But why? I thought I could sacrifice anything if it was to get a hold of the spirit stone. But now, I don't know if that was right. So, you hold on to it. I never saw you in the Twin Towers, and I never got the Spirit Stone. I get it. Thank you, Lean. <laughs> Say, Justin, tell me one last thing. What does the Spirit Stone mean to you? Huh? Uh, that's a toughie. To me, the Spirit Stone is... I know. The soul of the adventurer. <laughs> Don't laugh. I was serious. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. It, it's sort of funny, that's all. I think I finally understand why Fina is with you and why I met you. I will never forget you. Goodbye, Justin. Hmm, that was interesting. So, she didn't give him a kiss, she gave him back the spirit stone because she doesn't have any guts. She just couldn't hold on to it. Uh, okay, so... Use the save point and then go south. This way. Justin! Huh? Lean? No, wait, that's Fina's voice. Fina! Fina! I finally found you. Are you okay? Who, me? Of course I'm okay. I just got a little confused there, between your voice and Lean's. Oh, Lean, you said. Were you with her just now? That reminds me. Oh, Mulan said that you guys were rejected by the Magic Circle. Huh? Mulan? You were with that evil Mulan dude? Yeah, well, he really helped me get out of that tower. He's not such a bad guy after all. What do you mean, Fina? That Mulan, I could... <laughs> Anyway, let's discuss all this later on. Right now, our top priority is to find Sue and Gadwin. Let's go. Uh, okay. Hmm, we still have a bit left. Crap. South some more and back outside the gate. Okay. Justin, Fina! Hey, there they are. Yoo-hoo, we're over here! We were looking all over for you. At least you seem unhurt. That's good. Gadwin got knocked out and didn't wake up for a while. I was so worried. I thought he'd take care of that Mulan guy no time flat. Gadwin must be getting slow, I guess. I'm ashamed to admit she's right. Even in such a wide world, I doubted such a master could exist. It means I haven't trained enough. <laughs> Guess what? I met Liete again. But anyway, we're all together again, so let's get back to Gumbo. How do we do that? Oh, we can exit, but there's actually more items. Go back. Go back inside the maze and northeast to a fork. We do want those items. Go west, north, and east, following a path, and hopefully not finding those stupid enemies. Ooh, treasure. Forest charm. What does that do? Plus two earth and water resistance. Okay. So go back to the fork and head east.
and get some money. Now head back to where the save point is, set center area where the save point is by going back to the exit of the southern maze. Then go west and north from it. This way. Is this the right way or am I just completely making things up here? Oh, I think I actually wasn't supposed to exit. Sorry, guys. We need to go back to where the save point was uh, in the other area. Where we first were ejected from the towers. Um, sometimes I amaze myself with how silly I can be when I'm reading the instructions. Okay, so from here you go west. Here, this is where we want to be. Alright. Then go west and north from it. Oh, wait, wait, go through the northern part to a fork. North and get some money. Go southeast through the trap. And then further to more money. Go southwest all the way to a corner. Then go north and follow the path to a button. At least there's no enemies here. Uh, okay, jump on it then go west and back out to the center area. Okay. Go through the western path now. So we don't really need to do all this. This is just uh, extra to get some more treasure. Follow the path to another fork and then head north and northeast. To get some treasure. Odd hat. Hey, go north and west back to the fork. Then take west and south path. Follow it for a while. That's not the right way. That was east. What am I doing? of trust. Head back southeast and east to make your way back to the fork. Then go south and make your way back to the central area. Bom, 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 bom. This music's kind of in 
interesting. I like how a lot of these songs are just percussion. Go back through the eastern part, making your way to the main wall and then southeast. Go back to the eastern part. Through the eastern part. Back to the main wall. Southeast, then head northeast and north back through the trap. Then west, south, and west to another button. Oh, hello. Jump on it and go back through the southern path, following the path back south out of the maze. Let's uh... We didn't need to recover, but let's save it. Still got some more treasure to get. Okay. We need to get out of this maze. So the northern door is the only one you could go in before, but since you just exited from the southern door, that means the western and eastern are open. The eastern door cannot be reached in any way either the southern or the northern way because of this block. So if you feel up to it, make your way to the western area of the towers by going northwest from the southern area. I do feel up to it because I want some treasure. Head northwest until you reach the entrance to the western maze. Place is so big. Okay. Then, then enter to your east. You will be in an open area, so head south, east, a little, and south, south, east, and south. Oh no! Ah! It appeared where I was walking. I don't like these Medusa dances because they use that stupid move block ability. And I can't take them out really easily. A wind blow them away. After this battle, I might stop the camera, and we will uh, resume again in the next video. Oh, she doesn't have. No. No. All right, we won. Anyway, guys, this has been Aston and Altari. She's from Channel Taking on Let's Play of Grandia. When we return, we will continue through the Twin Towers and collect the rest of the treasures that we're missing. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next episode. Cheers.